Buhari spoke about IPOB, Igboho sponsors did not mention Boko Haram financials. Activists at the ENGU. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. A human rights activist and convener of the Concerned Nigerians, Deji Adeyanju, has said President Mohamed Buhari needs prayers for saying his administration has performed better than previous democratic governments since 1999. He criticized Buhari for speaking about the discovery of the alleged sponsors of the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Namdi Kanu, and Yoruba Nation Agitator, Sunday Adeyemo, aka Sunday Iboho. And failing to talk about the sponsors of Boko Haram terrorists who have killed thousands of Nigeria and displaced millions. Adeyaji added that it was inconceivable to see that Buhari applauded the military personnel who have failed to defend the territory integrity of the nation. The activists, the activists noted that Northwest Nigeria and the Middle Belt have been completely ravaged by terrorism and banditry. Yet, the president praised the army for its failure to combat these criminals. Adeyanji said this while reacting to Barry's speech on October 1st to comm commemorate the, the 61st independence anniversary of Nigeria. The statement titled, Buhari mocked Nigerians with his independence day speech, Adeyanji was, was obtained by Sahara reporters on Friday. It said, the whole country knows that this is the worst government in the history of our nation. It is beyond sad to hear President Buhari commending the military for failure in his Independence Day speech. The Northwest, the North Central, and almost the entire country is almost a no-go area due to the widespread of insecurity. Terrorist group control over 10 local government areas in the president's home, in the president's home states of Castina and collect taxes from residents openly and unchallenged. So many people who were killed by terrorists in southern Kaduna were buried yesterday. Dora Aquini's husband was gunned down recently in the south. It's yes, the president praises the military for failure. The president also said he has discovered sponsors of IPOB and Oduduwa's agitators, but failed to talk about the sponsors of Boko Haram and du that Dubai revealed recently because they are from his zone. The president apparently needs prayers for saying his administration is the best since 1999 and that Nigerians never have never had it so good. It is unthinkable that the president of a nation should openly peddle so much falsehood as Buhari has done. For context, cooking gas is 7,200 from 3,000 naira in 2015. $1 is 575 naira from 200 in 2015. The list goes on and on. And of the inflation records of the current administration, Nigeria has fallen completely to terrorist group. This is a government that kills protesters but negotiates with terrorists. Now, this particular issue... <laughs> oh, my goodness. And in all this... The president also said that the unity of Nigeria is not negotiable in his words. That it is not negotiable. These statements made sparked a lot of reactions. And people were asking, does he even know the meaning of negotiable? No offense given, but does he really know the meaning of negotiable? We're in a country where even the president is applauding the killings that is happening. It's applauding a lot of menaces going on. It's applauding the suffering of its citizens. It's applauding the cries of its citizens on a daily basis. People, more people are being sent to IDFs, IDPs camp, camps, IDP centers. They're not sent to there to look after. They are sent there to be treated because of what these bandits and terrorists keep doing. This security in Nigeria has gotten to, it has never gotten to this extent before. And of course, I am going to keep referring to the statement made by the late General Abacha that said if, the, if an insurgency in a country or in a nation, if it lasts more than 72 hours, then the government has an hand in it. And he has proven this. You are saying you have found out the sponsors for IPOB agitators and for Ududu agitators. And yet you have failed the names that were, this one, in open, in black and white, names of Boko Haram financiers have been given to you. Name of terrorist financiers, you made no mention of it. It's not a thing of shame. And yet you say that Nigeria's unity is not negotiable. You keep marginalizing. You keep intimidating and keep oppressing. 
You keep making it known you do not hide your tribalism. You do not hide your ethnicism and your religiosity. You bring it into politics and you make it a thing. You make it open. And you open your mouth and you say Nigeria is supposed to remain indivisible. The people of Nigerians, this is what we call, it's like when you complain that you're being marginalized, the marginalized, marginalization is tripled. The heat is increased, so you complain more. I do not know what is going on. I will not, um, I will not disagree with Mr. With this particular activist, I will not, I will not disagree with him. I will not. This government has failed. It's a failed government. But yet they are praising themselves. The good they have done, the bad that have befallen us, the space between the two of them is too much. The good, the bad, the space between is too much. It's too much. The people of Nigeria are tired. We are tired of this. We are tired. Imagine protesters being attacked and being named as terrorist group. Meanwhile, terrorist people, the, the, the terrorists uh, themselves, when they surrender, you applaud them, a free party for them. Make sure they are comfortable. You even sponsor trips for them outside the country. You should even do that if you don't do so. You send them to where, and when they come back, you recruit them and you put them in the Nigerian army. The same Nigerian army that is, that is, that, what, that, what does it tell you? That the terrorists are the ones that the president is talking to. To me, that is just it. Since they have found out the sponsors of the agitators of the Odidua nation and the Biafra nation. Yes, that's what he's saying. The Nigerian army has failed. They have failed because they have been failed too. The government has not given them arms. The government is not doing anything about them. Nothing is being done. And yet, people, people who go out for peaceful protests, they are attacked. The, we live in a country where the guilty roams free and the innocent is thrown behind bars. The innocent is oppressed. You run to the law to save you that you are being oppressed. The person who is oppressing you comes in. The law takes you that came to complain and puts you behind bars. And the person who is oppressing you is left to walk free. That is the country we live in. And we keep saying it is not, it is not divisible. That it is, our unity is not negotiable. <laughs> I do not know their plan. We do not know. It is seeming now <laughs> that henceforth it is not going to be a smooth ride. People of Nigeria, if you are one of those still thinking that insecurity will not get to your door, please awake, old sleeper. The reality is here. With what the speech of the president means, it means that the worst is yet to come. That is what it means to me. The unity of Nigeria is negotiable. The unity of Nigeria is negotiable. It is negotiable. We have gone past or it has decayed, decayed past the point where we are going to say people should come and listen. People should come. Let's have a round table discussion.